Earthquakes, droughts, floods, famines, Great Lakes of Africa and Kosovo crises, natural disasters and armed conflicts leave millions of people in need of aid every year. To meet this challenge, the international humanitarian system must be committed more than ever to serve the rights of disaster-affected people. Lessons from the aftermaths of the 1994 Rwanda genocide spurred agencies to re-examine their sense of collective responsibility. This shared concern resulted in a remarkable initiative aimed at improving effectiveness and accountability of humanitarian response. The Sphere Project is a story of vision, commitment and unprecedented consensus. In 1997, over 200 agencies and 800 individuals from 60 countries identified positive changes in the way humanitarian agencies can plan and implement response to future disasters. Cross-agency groups combined efforts and finally adopted a humanitarian charter and minimum standards in disaster response. The Humanitarian Charter is the cornerstone of the SPHERE project. It defines what rights people have in disaster situations. Based on the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, International Humanitarian Law and Refugee Law, the Humanitarian Charter promotes the observance of three fundamental humanitarian principles that are frequently swept aside during calamity and conflict. These principles are the right to life with dignity, the distinction between combatants and non-combatants, the principle of non-refoulement. The Humanitarian Charter reaffirms that the primary responsibility to protect and assist these people rests with states and governments and it reminds them of their international legal obligations. Building on existing practice and knowledge, the SPHERE project is the first attempt to set global minimum standards in disaster response in five core sectors. Water supply and sanitation, Nutrition, food aid, shelter and site planning. health services. The minimum standards are absolute and each minimum standard has key indicators to help determine whether this specific standard has been met. Standards, combined with indicators, are benchmarks to plan interventions and to measure the results of programs and methods. Here's an overview of some minimum standards and key indicators in the vital sector of water supply and sanitation. Water supply standard. All people have access to a sufficient quantity of water for drinking, cooking and personal hygiene. Key indicators in this respect are at least 15 litres per person per day are collected. Flow at each water collection point is at least 0.125 litres per second. There's at least one water point per 250 people. The maximum distance from any shelter to the nearest water point is 500 metres. Drainage standard. 
People have the means to dispose of domestic wastewater conveniently and efficiently and to protect their shelters from flooding and erosion. Key indicators in this respect are a sufficient supply of appropriate tools for minor drainage and maintenance work. Water point drainage should be well planned, built and maintained. This includes drainage from the water collection point as well as washing and bathing locations. We also think that we have a very In all five sectors, SPHERE's minimum standards and key indicators quantify what it means to survive with dignity, regardless of whether you're a war victim in Africa, a flood victim in Asia, or an earthquake victim in South America. Minimum standards and key indicators are targets to help plan and manage emergency programs. However, agencies must remain flexible and innovative in the implementation of the minimum standards. The launching of the Humanitarian Charter and the minimum standards in disaster response completed phase one of SPHERE's task. Priorities for now and the future include continual refining of the standards and key indicators, as well as awareness raising, training, dissemination and debate. Finding ways of translating the right to assistance into accountably delivered assistance demands great innovation, imagination and flexibility. SPHERE will only play a small part in improving the overall response to help meet the rights of people caught up in disasters and conflicts. But it is a basic road map, a step towards accountability. Sphere is not an end in itself, but an open, ongoing process of renewed commitment by the disaster response community at large. It's a call for increased competence and transparency in vital relief operations, a timely quest for humanitarian effectiveness. Temporary safe havens, and we're providing um, evacuation because we simply cannot... States, governments, NGOs, humanitarian actors, community groups and concerned people the world over are all invited to participate in this effort.